Hello, my name is Pastor Andy Schreier from Redeemer Lutheran Church. And today I'm in Williamston, Kentucky at what's called the Ark Encounter, a museum dedicated to, to the Ark. And it's pretty amazing looking at the size of this life-size replica of the Ark. And it's understandable how God could save all those animals and Noah and his family with the Ark. The thing is, the Bible doesn't actually say God saved Noah with the Ark but rather with the water. In, in 1 Peter chapter 3, it's talking about how, how God saved Noah in the ark, but it says, in it, only a few people, eight in all, were saved through water. In other words, the water is what saved them. But that doesn't sound right because the water is what killed millions of people in the flood. Only Noah and his family survived. How did God save Noah and his family? Through the water. And that's where we have to remember what the world was like in Noah's day. Pretty much everybody, everybody had rejected God, had turned away from God, except for Noah and his family. And they were in a, in a world that was tempting them, that, that their descendants could be led astray by everybody else that had rejected God. And so God saved them from that world and punished the, the people that, were, that had rejected him with the flood, with the waters. And that's when Peter says, and that water of the flood symbolizes baptism that now saves you also. Not the removal of dirt from the body, but the pledge of a clean conscience toward God. Just like the water of the flood saved Noah and his family, the water of your baptism saves you. It sets you apart from this sinful world. It gives you faith, which is able to fight against the temptations of our world. It, it, it connects you to Jesus, who won for you forgiveness in heaven. That's why today, as I'm, I'm looking here at this big ark, which saved Noah and his family, can't help but think of my baptism, which saved me.